2018 Thornberry Creek LPGA Classic winner Se Young Kim knew she was facing a tough encore after setting an LPGA record. 31 under par in last year's event. She didn't play as well as she wanted the first two days, but finished up her round three with six birdies and 11 under par. I play better than last two days because I was a struggle with my putting. But two days I made a couple uh, meter pass. So I was able to shoot uh, six under, so I'm very happy with that. Have you noticed uh, after winning last year, a lot more fans out here know who you are and cheering you on? Yeah, there's a lot of people like cheering me even today and the, the first round, second round. So I'm very thankful to them to, and they help uh, a lot of cheer for us. So, yeah. Obviously, the conditions not ideal this morning. A lot of rain. How did that impact what you were able to do out there? It was really raining, and the, when I played the first hole until the uh, number eight, because so fairway is really wet, so. It's easy to hit the fat. I had a couple of fat, but yeah. But good thing is, uh, really greens are softer, so I was able to attack the pin, make make made a more a uh, lot of birdie chance. So yeah, that was good. Obviously, the LPGA record, 31 under last year. You saw what Sung Young Park was able oh, to yeah. do. Uh, Arya Jatanagarn. Yeah. Is that record in jeopardy? Do you think? I think uh, I was thinking yesterday could be one of the girls uh, break up my record. So I wish I, I wish, yeah, I wish they uh, break up my record. Some of the best golfers in the world still out on the course as we speak. Who will end up on top of the leaderboard when moving day comes to an end? We'll tell you coming up tonight at 10. Reporting from Thornberry Creek at Oneida, Ryan Rodig, Local 5 Sports.